Hi, Jen and Casey here, and today for Fusion Online Video, we're talking about special populations and hand stretches that you can do with the tennis balls. And mostly, we use these exercises for our Parkinson's clients, but really beneficial for a lot of people. People who are using their hands a lot in their work on the computers. So this is one that if you don't have Parkinson's clients, it's really beneficial for a lot of your clients to be doing these um, hand exercises because it also, when you're opening the bones of the hands and the mm -hmm. tissue on the hands, you're also keeping the bones of the wrist and the forearm working well. So um, we have a number of <laughs> different <laughs> tennis balls. We have our little baby, um, the bigger tennis ball, and the spiky ball. Mm -hmm each give you a different kind of opening and feeling. This little tennis ball I think is probably the easiest to start with. So Casey and I are going to use this. So for our Parkinson's clients, we like to talk to the connective tissue and the brain and the nervous system. It's really beneficial for them. So this is an example of how we do that. Um, tremors are very common in the hands and the fingers for our Parkinson's clients. And because they are very aware of that and always trying to, to lessen the tremors, there's a lot of gripping and tightness in the hands, wrist, and forearms. Mm -hmm. Another reason why this is such a great exercise. So um, first, let's start with uh, the second and the third finger. And we're going to try to kind of wedge that tennis ball between, right? So we're just starting with the little V stretches and go to the third, fourth finger. Yep, trying to get it all the way down into the webbing of the fingers. Don't be scared about stretching the fingers. Good, and then the fourth and fifth, wedging it in. Good, all right. Now I want you to go back to the second and third, wedge it in, and then can you do like a little claw around the ball, holding onto it, really squeezing in with your knuckles. Like towards one another? Yep. Mm -hmm. Like you're trying to cinch it like a nutcracker. So yep. Mm -hmm. So you're really pulling these long bones of the, the hands apart. Good. And change. It becomes harder with these yeah. two. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. And this really helps to also, we're working flexibility, of course. We're lengthening the connective tissue and the musculature in the hand, but you're, um, also working the strength of the fingers and the hands. And that can be also the problem with people mm -hmm. that, like the rest of our body, right? Sometimes we can be weak and tight. Well, also in the, the hands Absolutely. and fingers. Good. And let's go to the, this one gets harder. Ooh. Yeah, getting that pinky finger yeah. to mm -hmm. really work is different feeling. Uh, right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then feeling this yep. whole outside of the arm and forearm kind of turn on Absolutely. is really good. Yeah, great. Okay, and let's go, let's actually stay with this hand and put your little one down okay. and take this one. All right. Right, and what I want you to do here is take the spiky ball and we're gonna start to wake up the skin after we've stretched it out and just rolling over the fingers. You can hands. see all the blood flow. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice and red mm -hmm. and rosy. And you can even Go up onto the forearm too. Ooh, look at mine. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Good. And then you can go to the palm also and roll it out. And then what I like to do with this little spiky ball is right in the center of the palm and I want them to squeeze and wrap and try to spread the fingers as much as possible around that spiky ball, giving it a good grip, taking a deep inhale, and then on the exhale, opening the palm. You can use your other finger to balance and really spread it open like a big starfish. Good, and again, spread, try to grip onto those little spikies really working the strength of the hand and the fingers, and then open it up like a big starfish, blooming. This would be great there for you go. arthritis, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Good, and release. And just shake out the hand a little bit, and then Case, put that ball down, and okay. just notice the difference between the two hands. Oh my gosh. I and know. Forearm oh yeah, and, this yeah, arm shoulder. feels like it's so much longer. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, mm -hmm. and we'll see you next time. Bye.